So this video is very just spur of the moment. I haven't put much thought into this. I'm just kind of winging it here with the wind windows. No, that was <laughs> Listen, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to talk to you because I figure this is a good time for me to be able to talk to you all who are watching this and tell you what it's like to own this car, what I, what I could be doing with it, how I could upgrade it, and what I'm choosing to do right now. So this is a true first year 1967 big block Camaro. It's a true Super Sport 396. Now it's got the replacement engine from 1970, so it's period correct-ish, because the engine's from the first year of the second gens. But it's a true throwback. And when I'm driving this car, I really feel like I am in the 1960s or the early 1970s. And that is what I love about this experience. To me, it's a time warp. To me, it is like I am in a completely different place of knowing what it was like to be behind the wheel. And it, that is what is exactly exhilarating and thrilling to me and what I love about owning this car and having it the way it is. So people say, Steve, why don't you put in a 427? Why don't you put in a 454? You would crush everybody. Well, I mean, if I put in a 427, I'd probably have to reinforce the, or do something completely different to the suspension. Well, why don't you change the suspension? I mean, it's got a bottle leaf spree anyway, Steve. Well, if I change the suspension, then it's not like I'm driving and having the feeling of what it's like to be in 1967. But you get wheel hop. Well, that's what they had in 1967. Those cars wheel hopped. See, this is not a drag car. It's not a race car. This is a driver car. And even though I am racing it, even though I drive it hard, it's a driver car. And I'm not trying to have the fastest car on the road. I just am having the best time I possibly can by feeling like I'm going back in time. So my thought here is there's so many people out there who have muscle cars and they drive those cars like their grandmas. These cars, if you're gonna own this car, why drive it that way? You wanna own a muscle car, drive a muscle car like you got some muscle, okay? But I'm not saying go take your muscle car and, you know, take it to the NHRA or, you know, Daytona or whatever. That's not the point. I'm just saying if you got a muscle car, drive it like a muscle car. And that's what I'm doing in these videos. I'm getting together with people with really cool cars and we are driving these cars the way they are meant to be driven. We're having one hell of a time doing it. And that's what I'm doing with this car. So should I upgrade the suspension to coils or should I change it to uh, dual leafs or, or Hotchkiss suspension? Yeah, maybe one day. But right now, that's not what I'm planning to do because that's just not what's on my mind right now or what I care to do. I just enjoy feeling like I am back in time with my rat motor, with my big block 396 slash 402 super sport engine. And I'm just having a hell of a time doing it. So that is my thought on the way my car is right now, what I'm doing with my car, and how I'm enjoying it. And I'm, I'm totally open to hearing everything that you have to say. I love hearing your comments. Tell me your comments, tell me your thoughts. I read them all, I respond to them all. And I wanna know your opinions. And you know what, a lot of you, they agree with me, a lot of you may not. That's okay, I don't mind. I enjoy hearing your thoughts. And a lot of you guys have actually opened my eyes to a lot of things that help me see how I could make improvements or do things differently. So I really enjoy the dialogue with you. So anyway, I'm thankful that I was able to share this experience today about what it's like to own this car and what I want to do with it. I know what I can do with it. It's already been restored and it's been modified, but it's modified in the vein of original because the car was born with an automatic transmission. The car was born with white interior. The car was born with a beige vinyl top. The car did not have the RS trim on it when it was born. All these things have been added. I love the RS. I love the hidden headlights. I'm assuming the car was probably owned by a woman originally because of the white interior and the automatic transmission. That is not in any way that I'm saying uh, that women can't drive because my wife can drive. My wife can drive better than I can. She's a hell of a driver. So I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying the car was, was the body was in really crisp, clean condition. It was probably just very gently driven. And given the fact that it had those touches to it, I wouldn't be surprised. So it's been modified, but it's still modified in the vein of original, and I still feel like I am back in time in 1967, driving a true big block machine. And it is an absolute joy. There you go, guys. That's my thoughts. I wanna hear more from you. Um, 
I'm assuming if you've watched this far, you're probably one of my subscribers, and I really appreciate every one of my subscribers. Um, we're really growing this channel. We're really early on. Uh, give me your thoughts. Give me your comments. And if, you, uh, if you're seeing this and you're a subscriber and you really want to see more of this and help me out, here's what you can do. Show this channel to one, preferably one of my racing videos where I race one of, you know, one of the other cars out there. Uh, show this channel to, um, to somebody you know that you think might like it and ask them to subscribe. Because if every one of you did that and had one friend subscribe, then I would double my subscribers and it would really be able to help support me in continuing to push this channel forward. You know that I sincerely appreciate every, every one of you. I make a, a true effort to get to know all of you who, who do uh, communicate with me on Instagram or here on YouTube and leave comments. I've always wanted to know more about you. You know that I'm sincere about it. And so I hope that you know when I say this, I really do appreciate you. Thank you guys. And um, I'm looking forward to sharing the next video with you soon. All right, have a good one.